Where there is a woman, there is magic. A quote by Ntozake Shange is the perfect way to start today's episode, where we are celebrating all women in our lives, ahead of International Women's Day, to celebrate the incredible impact they have on us. We'll make a delicious and light low ABV cocktail with strawberries, lily rose and a zero waste approach. I'm lucky enough to have five amazing women creating magic in my life. A daughter, my wife, a sister, a mother and even my mother-in-law. I wouldn't be the man I am without the women in my life and I'm incredibly thankful for that. This cocktail can be a way to celebrate all women any day of the year, so make sure to bookmark this recipe. Let's start! It's cocktail time! We made a cocktail with a similar flavor profile for last year's Valentine's Day episode, using ricotta washed Lille Blanc, strawberry shrub and macarons filled with leftover ricotta and strawberries. Today we are making a cocktail I am calling the strawberry yogurt. These are the ingredients you will need. The base will be Lille Rose aperitif wine with a homemade strawberry cordial with whey and lactic acid which will pair nicely with a milk cracker garnish that will be topped with jam made from leftover strawberries. We will also add a few drops of rose water and saline solution and top it with a splash of soda water. Lactic acid is what gives yogurt its distinct tangy flavor. It's also present in preserving fresh vegetables and fruits with fermentation, which is what we used for the lacto-fermented smoky orange juice for a twist on a blood and sand. But we'll recreate the yogurt flavor with today's delicious cocktail. To do that, I'll first show you how to make these ingredients. Let's start with the cordial. To make the cordial, you'll need 200 grams of frozen strawberries, 200 grams of whey, the liquid byproduct generated from cheese manufacturing, 1 gram of ascorbic acid, 0.8 gram of pectinex, 13 grams of lactic acid powder, and sugar. We'll see how much we'll need. I'm heating up the whey so that it will thaw out the strawberries as we add everything into a blender. These strawberries are homegrown and when they're in season, we have so many we always place some in the freezer for smoothies or desserts. If your supermarket has flavorful fresh strawberries at the moment, you can use those. Whey is what's left over after milk has been curled and strained when making cheese. This liquid can then be used to produce whey cheeses such as ricotta. Add the strawberries and whey into a blender together with ascorbic acid to slow down the oxidation of my strawberries. A tiny amount of lemon juice would work as well, but it's optional. Blend to pulverize the strawberries completely. Then add pectinex and lactic acid powder and blend again. Pectinex will help separate the solids, making it possible to filter out a clear liquid. And the lactic acid will provide a silky, almost creamy mouthfeel. This can even tame down acetic or vinegar acid, which is why it is sometimes added to shrubs. Leave it to sit for 20 minutes and you'll see the separation happening. Then filter through a rinsed coffee filter. The first liquid will not be as clear, so just refilter that part once you see clear liquid coming through. Once everything is filtered, first step is to place the leftover strawberry puree on the side for later. Then weigh your strained yield and add sugar accordingly. We need to add 30 grams of sugar for every 100 grams of the liquid. I ended up with 337 grams, so I'm adding 101 gram of sugar. Dissolve the sugar, bottle the cordial and it's ready to be used. It's already delicious, but the flavors will really develop after a day or so. Let's move on to the garnish. Milk crackers. To make them, you'll only need 200 grams of milk and 40 grams of glucose syrup. Add both to a saucepan on medium heat, stir to dissolve and heat up to 80 degrees Celsius or 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Then take it off the heat and froth it up with a milk frother. You can also use an immersion blender. When it's nice and foamy, wait for 30 seconds so it settles just a bit. Then scoop out the froth and place it evenly on a baking paper. I find a reusable silicon version works best. A julep strainer is a great tool for this. Then place it in a preheated oven, set to 75 degrees Celsius or 165 degrees Fahrenheit with the fan turned on and wait for the milk to evaporate. For me it took around 3 hours, but this can of course vary based on your oven and the size of your tray. Open every now and then to let out the steam. You could do this with a dehydrator as well. Keep your eyes on it and once you see the milk has evaporated your milk crackers are done. Wait for them to completely cool off and breaking them into bite-sized chunks that will fit on top of the glass. Store this delicious snack in an airtight container, away from light, and consume within a few days. To make them even tastier, we'll make a jam from the leftover strawberry puree. Along with that, you'll just need sugar, salt and some pectin powder, which will turn this puree into a jelly-like paste. Again, it's beneficial, but optional. Start by weighing how much of the strawberry puree we're left with. To that, we'll add 25% or a quarter of the weight in sugar. Follow that with 2% of salt. 
And lastly, 1.5% of pectin powder. Pectin is a soluble gelatinous polysaccharide, which is present in ripe fruits and is used as a setting agent in jams and jellies. So we are making the real thing here. Stir for about a minute or so to dissolve everything, then transfer to a piping bag, which will make it easier to carefully apply the jam later. Place the bag in the fridge and once it cools down, you're good to go. I know this might seem like a lot of work and I think the end result will be well worth it. But even so, a nice bouquet of flowers is always a good idea. Now let's make the strawberry yogurt cocktail. We will serve this third cocktail in an Ike Nora glass. So place that in the freezer and chill the mixing glass before adding the ingredients. Starting with one and a half ounce or 45 ml of Lily Rose. Keep this wine-based aperitif in the fridge after opening. Follow that with one ounce or 30 ml of our homemade cordial. If you want to make something non-alcoholic, just mix this with soda water. Next, four drops of rose water. This is a common ingredient in Middle Eastern cooking and in many Indian recipes, especially desserts. And our classic ingredient to enhance all the flavors, two drops of saline solution. Add plenty of ice and stir to chill under lid. About 20 to 30 seconds should be enough. Strain into a chilled Nick and Nora glass. And add a splash of equally chilled soda water. Now for the garnish. Place a milk cracker on top of the glass and finish it with three drops of our yogurt jam. Isn't this better than wasting the strawberries? This goes out to all the women around the world. You make the world go round. Thank you. And cheers. Aroma of wine and berries reaches your nose through the milkiness of the garnish. Even with a few bubbles from the soda water, the cocktail is pleasantly creamy and smooth. It's almost like you're eating a strawberry yogurt, with rose water providing a subtle floral note as well. Taking a bite of the garnish, you get nutty notes of evaporated milk that instantly melts in your mouth. All in all, a wonderful culinary experience. If you're looking for a way to show a special lady you are thankful for the impact she has on your life, make her this cocktail. But between you and me, I really love how this cocktail turned out. So I'd love for everyone to give it a try. Let me know if you do. And I'll see you next week. Cheers.